Hi, welcome back to Wonder Talks. My name is Catherine, and this is my favorite Wonder Dog, Supergirl Smoochie, and we have our St. Patrick's Day friend here. Now, Wonder Talks are short, inspirational talks that encourage you to think bigger in an area of your life. And we were doing a talk on dreams and destiny, and today was meant to be done on St. Patrick's Day as the final talk. But as you probably know, today is not St. Patrick's Day. Although we'll have our little friend here. Top of the morning to ya. Make it feel like it is. Things did not go as I planned. We had a family member who has been very sick and we have been taking care of 24 seven. And so I was not able to come and do my final, to record my final talk. But actually, this isn't a bad thing. Because first of all, it's a great opportunity to say something very important. Which is that when you're going after your dreams, the most important thing is to remember the important things. Family, friends, enjoying life. It's great to go after your dreams and it's great to do things that we enjoy. And God created us to go after our dreams. But in the middle of it all, I personally don't want to forget about those things that are really important to me. The second thing is that I could have said I can't do my final talk on St. Patrick's Day. Everything is ruined. I guess I wasn't supposed to do these wonder talks. But instead what I realized was that I could actually use this as an opportunity. Instead of letting it be an obstacle to me, I chose to make the fact that I couldn't do my recording on the day that I planned to be a stepping stone, to use it as an illustration. For when you're going after your dreams, yes, things go wrong. I won't lie to you, they go wrong. But instead of using those things as blocks, as things that say, oh, I guess I'm done, to actually land on them and fly over them and use them as stepping stones to actually move you forward. Because the thing is that God is more concerned about our dreams than we are. He wrote them into our DNA. And we were a dream in God's heart since before time began. And so he is interested in helping us make our dreams happen. And so we can turn to him and say, I have an obstacle, I don't know what to do about it, and he can help you move forward in it. Now, I had a friend that I saw on Facebook post something one day, this is a number of months ago, and they said, I'm a certain age, do you guys think it's too late for me to go after my dreams? And I got so upset. Because here's the thing, it's never too late. Let me give you some examples. Harlan David Sanders, we know him as Colonel Sanders, was 65 when he started Kentucky Fried Chicken. Laura Ingalls Wilder was 65 when she started riding a little hoss on the prairie. And Nelson Mandela was 74 when he was elected president of South Africa in 1994. If you are breathing, it's never too late. The other thing to keep in mind though, is that in some ways, it's never too early. Now it may be true that right now, at this instant, you can't just hop on a plane and fly to Africa and start the orphanage you've always dreamed of starting. But you can get a passport and you can research what things you'll need to do to get there, what vaccinations you need to have. You can start learning about the country and praying for the country, and you can start taking steps to move forward in your dreams, even if you can't necessarily fully do your dreams right now. There's always something that you can do to help you move forward. So it's never too late, and it's never too early. I wanna say one final thing. I once saw this cartoon, and in the cartoon, there was a monkey, a penguin, an elephant, a fish, and a dog. And there's a guy leaning on a desk, and he says, for a fair selection, everyone has to take the same exam. Climb that tree. Now, the monkey will probably do great at climbing the tree, but I don't think the fish will do so well. And what I want to say is this. In going after your dreams, you be you. Only you can do best what you do best in the way that you do it. 
And so feel free to be who you are when you go after your dreams because the world needs you to be who you are. That concludes our series on releasing your dreams and destiny. I hope you have the most amazing, wonderful day. Top of the morning to ya. Cheerio. Bye-bye for now.